I've always wanted to be able to help people. I want to inspire people all around the world, but I'm terrified. I was even afraid to make these YouTube videos, but here I am right now making a video about fear and overcoming my fear at the same time. How many times have you not quit that job and stayed in a horrible job that you hated because you were afraid to quit? Fear rules our life and we have to break free of that to really be able to live. And the main thing everyone's afraid of is failure. So let's break this down. What is feeling? Feeling is just the conscious awareness of your emotions, of your vibration that's happening in your body in any given moment. One of the things I'm finding really interesting is that fear all begins with ignorance. And if you stay in this ignorant state for too long, well, guess what? You start doubting and worrying about everything. And if you keep doubting and worrying about everything, then you start to develop fear and being afraid. Then you develop anxiety. And the more anxiety you get, you try to suppress it. And if you keep trying to suppress it, it turns into depression, which ultimately develops into disease. The law of polarity states that everything has an opposite. And those two opposites are actually two inseparable parts of the same thing. There's good, there's evil, there's love, there's hate. There's positive, there's negative. So if fear all begins with ignorance, then you have to ask yourself, well, what is the opposite of ignorance? Knowledge. And knowledge leads to understanding. And understanding leads to this whole feeling of faith and well-being. And that just leads to your overall health. What's really fascinating about these two polarities, ignorance and knowledge, is that both of them require you to have all this faith in something that you can't even see or touch. A lot of these concepts I learned from the legendary recently deceased Bob Proctor, rest in peace. I've just recently discovered him and I'm so fascinated by everything he has to teach. And you know, it's, it's completely normal and natural to fear something that you've never done before because fear is, it's the unknown. But once you understand how your mind works, you can overcome fear. You have a choice. You can either choose to remain ignorant or you can choose knowledge and you can choose to develop understanding. We all have the ability to change, to overcome our fear. You have the ability to change. I have the ability to change. So let's all start changing together. That's why I'm making these YouTube videos because I want to share this with everyone. I want everyone to feel this good and to make our environment and our life Ever we want it to be. Awareness is the answer. So what I want you to do is I want you to just get yourself really relaxed. Start by closing your eyes and relax your whole body. Relax your eyes, relax your eyelids, your nose, your throat, your tongue. Go through your whole body and then ask yourself, what is causing my fear? What am I truly afraid of? And get a little notebook and start jotting down any ideas that come to you. You've got to really sit with yourself and figure out what is the root of my fear. And once you discover what your fear is, you've got to face it. You've got to face it head on. Because once you do this, it will start to go away. It will start to leave. The more you run from it and the more you try to hide, the bigger it becomes in your life. But if you could sit down and you can face your fears, then you can overcome them. So once you discover exactly what it is that's causing your fear, start visualizing the solution. Close your eyes and start visualizing the solution every morning, right when you wake up. Instead of starting your day all panicked and worried, start visualizing the emotions you feel as you overcome this fear. That joy of being on stage and performing and how wonderful that feels that you've overcome that or that you raise up your hand and you ask your boss for that raise and you tell them why you deserve that raise. And if you're struggling and you get stuck here, you're like, Sarah, I can't see myself visualizing that. Well, I learned this great technique from Mel Robbins for visualization. And here's what you do. You think of someone that you really look up to, that really inspires you. One of my people that really inspires me is Emily Fletcher. She's an amazing guru, meditation artist. I also still look up to people like Oprah ever since I was a child. So what would Oprah do? Oh, well, Oprah would be on stage she would have no problem. She'd give that speech that sent chills down everyone's spine. She would awaken everyone, awaken their minds. She could do it. And so I imagine Oprah doing all these things that I've always wanted to do. And then I imagine her reaching out her hand into the audience saying, come on, Sarah, come with me. 
and she pulls me up on stage, even though I'm terrified. I've always wanted to be able to help people. I want to inspire people all around the world, but I'm terrified. I was even afraid to make these YouTube videos, but here I am right now making a video about fear and overcoming my fear at the same time. And I imagine Oprah pulling me on stage. She's holding my hand. She's even whispering to me what to say. And I'm speaking those words and I'm overcoming my fear. And boy, does it feel good. So imagine someone that you really look up to that's doing all these things that you've always wanted to do. And then just imagine them bringing you along with them. It's a really wonderful technique to break through visualization if you get stuck doing it and you can't imagine yourself doing it. I really, really hope that some of these ideas will help you to overcome fear in your life as it has for me. Um, if you like it, please let me know. Please put a comment below like the video, share it, subscribe it, and I'll see you back next Friday. Every Friday at 4, I'll be sharing more information that I learn along the way. Thank you!